Here we go. Update on my 38 gallon. Uh, everything seems to be doing well. Uh, nothing too different other than uh, took the top off. Um, wasn't a huge fan of that lid. Um, although, yeah, I don't think I have anything that, that would want to jump out. Um, the frogs, the dwarf frogs, maybe. I'm not sure if anyone can let me know. Uh, so far, I haven't had any frogs jump out, so it doesn't seem like anything wants to jump out in this tank. So I was able to take off the lid. Um, let's see, any any abstaining changes? Um, let's see. Well, of course, when I, I try to take a video, the the male rainbow is hiding. What a surprise! But he's colored up super nicely. Yeah, you can you got a glimpse of him there. Yeah, he's coloring super nicely. Um, the red sword, doing great. New leaf right there in the past two days. Um, Ludwigia is doing awesome, growing out of control. Um, I keep planting the pennywort in the front, but of course they seem to be getting uprooted. Kind of annoying, but. Just gotta replant it, I guess. Um, any ideas? I, I keep changing what goes in this little front area. If anyone has an idea of a good, maybe foreground plant that can cover this section, please let me know. I can't figure out what I want in the front there. I used to have this little uh, plant. Not sure what this is, but uh, I got it off of aquariumplants.com. Um, problem I had with it, it just kept getting uprooted and, and it wasn't doing so well in this tank, but I seem to have like one or two left over, and this one actually seems to be doing quite well. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's what used to be here until I changed it to Pennywort. Um, I got rid of the hair, uh, the star grass I had. I actually have, like, one left, I think. That's actually doing quite well, but the rest just seemed rotten and just did not grow. Did not grow. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much any updates. Um... Unfortunately, lost a bunch of fish with the stupid duck weed problem. Um, I really don't recommend getting plants off of eBay. That was a mistake. Um, although the duckweed is doing all right, um, it was definitely not worth messing with my water. Um, but I did the water change, blah, blah, blah. So everything seems all right to me. Yeah, so this, this is Thriving, Thriving Tank. Mm, can't really think of anything else, so I'm going to say that's about it. Um, oh, my quarries are getting fat. Fat. There must be way too much leftover food, or with the dying fish, they must have been picking at the fish, because they got fat over the past two days. Um, I'm going to start feeding them way less, apparently. Um, everyone else doesn't seem too big, but it's just... The quarries seem to be scavenging and finding a lot of food. They are big. They are big. Um, yeah, that's about it. The banana plant seems to be doing pretty well. I would love to see a lily pad from that. I saw a video of a lily pad off a banana plant, and that thing was awesome. So hopefully, you know, eventually, a month or two, who knows, who knows, who knows. Um, oh yeah, also, if anyone has any advice or ideas on what the hell this algae is, please do let me know. It's, you can't really pick it up on this camera, but it's blackening these leaves. Damn, you can't really see. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, now, I do have these guys munching away, but it doesn't seem to be taking off a lot of the algae. I'm thinking it's because there's no current in that corner. It's kind of a dead spot because it's underneath the power head. Um, as you can see, the leaves aren't really moving around as, as these leaves in the front are. But yeah, anyway, let me know if anyone knows what kind of algae that is and how to stop it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, See my other gold ring loach in this tank. I have the same guy in the other tank. I have one in each. Doing well. Munching away on the algae in the back. I don't really bother cleaning the algae in the back. Um, I only clean off the front so you can see really. I don't mind the algae on the back. 
kind of looks cool in my opinion uh, it looks like the, the tank itself you know broken it looks more natural but that's just my opinion some people may not like it um what else what else um oh yeah this massive sword is going out of control tons of new leaves popping up um kind of hard to see because it's all green but these are all new leaves coming up in the past i'd say two days three days growing out of control yeah all right um yeah, so I'm thinking I, I, I kind of want to do a, a rescape of this corner. It's kind of a mess. It doesn't look so good. Um, if anyone has opinions on that. Um, also, what the hell is this plant? If anyone could tell me, I'm just going to stick my hand in here. Screw it. But uh, if anyone has any idea on what kind of plant this is, um, please let me know. I can't seem to plant this properly as there's no roots or it's not a deep enough rooted area for it to uh, go down into the the substrate um, it seems to just want to come back up every time I I uh, replant it um, so if anyone has any ideas on how to plant this plant uh, I've been letting it float around the tank it seems to stay in this area so I mean the plant itself has new growth so it's doing well but I just have no idea how to plant it um, if anyone ha has an idea, please let me know. Uh, yeah, thank you. That'd be good. That'd be good. Um, also, I have these guys. I forgot what these plants were called. Uh, they're not doing so well, actually. Uh, I just have them in a corner. Uh, sorry, it's tilted. Uh, I just have it in a corner. Um, they used to be greener. I actually see new growth coming off. But, uh, yeah, I just got a couple of these guys in the back here. I just have no idea what to do with them. Uh, they were in my tank for a while, so I just kept them in there. But, uh, yeah, not, not so sure. Not so sure. They're super random, just in that corner. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I need to do something with that, but I'll figure something out. Uh, the sword in the back, actually, the runners are going insane. Um, we got a lot of leaves coming from that runner. Um, yeah, here's the base of the plant right here. Doing real well. Rooted itself deep into this uh, substrate. And look at this. Look at this. Look at these healthy leaves. Mm, anyway. Um, yeah. So, that that's pretty much the update of the tank. Give you a side view. Water's crystal clear. Um, yeah, that's about it. Also, actually, I've had... I noticed that my temperature is a little high. It's around, uh, you can't really see. Uh, nonetheless, it's around uh, 77 or 78. Um, I'm trying to lower that a little. I'm thinking it's the T5s. Uh, I lowered the timer to have the T5s on for about eight hours a day instead of 10. Hopefully that may uh, cool the water down a little. Um, yeah, so other than that, um, yeah, that's the update, April 18th, 2012. Speaking of which, here is the plant that just keeps getting uprooted. All right, anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good day.